Thanks for joining me today as I update you on my vegetarian journey. I also have a special guest that I can't wait to introduce you to. Here we go. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lady V and today I have a very special guest. What's going on, everybody? I am glad to be making a special appearance. Appearance, all right. Special <laughs> appearance on my wife, Lady V Blog. I'm so proud of her. YouTube uh, channel, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. YouTube. That's okay, you guys. YouTube channel. He's YouTube. still learning. So, um, if you don't know, this is my husband. His name is Shamar, aka Pastor Mark, because he is the senior pastor of Fresh Start Church. But today, we're simply coming to you as Mr. and Mrs. Lewis. So as some of you know, about 30 days or so ago, we started a journey towards becoming vegetarian. And I shared with you... Ooh. Really? You got the XL on that one? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So, the meat we gave up. The what? The meat. The meat we gave up? The rib. Wasn't it worth the it? chicken. You gonna go down the list? No, it was worth it. it That's okay, you guys. It. This is actually what I deal with on a regular. Uh, kind of. You've been doing pretty good. So anyway, like I said, about 30 days ago now, we started our journey towards becoming vegetarian. And I shared with you a video um, for a seven-day meal plan. I don't know if any of you have tried those meals or not, but today we're giving you an update on what that journey has been like, the things that we've liked, the things that we struggle with, and kind of what we're going to do to sustain our goal of being vegetarian. So, first and foremost, um, you've had some of the meals that we made. So, what was your favorite meal that you've had so far? One of my favorite meals have been the vegetarian lupia uh -huh. and the garlic noodles. Yes. So, that was one that's actually listed on the video. And I'll share a link for you later so you can check that meal plan out. But the vegetable lumpia and garlic noodles. And that was with the special sauce that we made. Yes, the special sauce my wife put together. I don't know what she did or how she did it, but it was good. I felt fulfilled. I didn't even need any meat. Yeah, so what was your second favorite meal? My second favorite meal... Mm, I would have to say... Um, I can't really think. The soul um, food. Okay, yes. The soul yes. food. Yes. The soul food was off the hook. So, everybody. tell them what I made for you guys. Because right. I put in some work about this. Stuff. She, what were, she made some black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. They were vegan black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. Yams, greens, mm -hmm. cornbread, mac and cheese. And rice. Oh, yeah. And rice. I forgot about that because I need the rice for the black eyed peas. Yes. And so if I have time to you guys, I'll flash a couple of pictures of these particular meals. But this wasn't in the seven day meal plan that I shared with you. Um, my husband here was craving some soul food because it was something that we ate I frequently. I couldn't wait. Yeah. Yes. Um, especially on Sunday. Sometimes we would go out and find a restaurant or I would cook here. And I was actually, did you, did I tell you that I was afraid of making the soul food for you? No. Because you, you guys, I did have one point where I was craving um, some fried chicken, like bad. I was craving fried chicken bad. And I was like, how in the world can I make soul food and not fix any meat? So I was worried about fixing it, but I said, we're going to do this. And actually, we didn't miss anything. No. Actually, we, we ate on it for at least two days. Yeah. I couldn't wait to continue eating it. It was good. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised how the black eyed peas came out. Mm -hmm. They were vegan black eyed peas with yeah. rice. <laughs> I mean, it was like they were regular black eyed peas. Yeah. Everything was good, you all. This, yeah. this journey has been, um, let me just say this, really has been a blessing. Um, I have seen a, a change in my weight size, mm -hmm. the feel of just yeah. feeling more energized and even just sleeping doesn't feel as heavy. And so it's, it's really been a journey, but I have really been sticking to it. Myself and Lady V have really been sticking to mm -hmm. it. And um, I've surprised myself because we went cold turkey approximately yep. four weeks ago. Well, the other piece that I didn't share with you and many people know is that I have wanted to go vegetarian for a while now, right? Yes. And so um, I would try to do it on my own, but what was always difficult was the fact that my husband wasn't on board, nor was our daughter. And so 
every time I would come home and prepare a meal for them, I had to cook meat and that made it really difficult because I was constantly tempted. So the minute that he decided that he wanted to try to be vegetarian, I was like, perfect. Now the whole house can get on board and I don't have to be tempted when I'm cooking. So one of the other things we had, my favorite dishes, I love Indian food. We actually both love Indian yes. food. And so we made wraps. I got garlic naan. Um, I had some rice as well. I bought some vegetarian chana masala, which is garbanzo beans with a curry spice. And we had lettuce, onions, roti, um, and we also had a mango chutney. I didn't know about any of this, y'all, before I got married. I didn't know about any of this. She opened my eyes up to so many other foods that I probably would have never tried mm -hmm. um, if I was just still single. And I must say, I have to give her props. Um, Thanks, at baby. first, I was so against it. I don't like it. Let me see what mm -hmm. it looked like, what you put in it. Yep. Um, but come to find out, I start asking for seconds. Yep. So we both really, really love different types of food now, Thai, Indian, um, soul food. We go across the gamut of different types of food. But one of the things we've also really strived to do was to incorporate those different types of foods into our vegetarian journey because we did not want to feel that we were being kept away from the things that we love or deprived. And so it was really important to figure out how we can incorporate the things that we love into this new lifestyle. So is there anything that you have felt that you've missed? Um, I can honestly say every now and again, I do get the the. I do want some kind of meat, um, whether it's chicken or even steak. I was a big steak eater, everybody. Um, so every now and again, I really do um, crave meat. And I find out most of the time it's when I haven't eaten, when I'm hungry. Yeah. So the very key to this is also keeping healthy snacks around for yourself so you won't revert back to what you've already been doing. And so that was a big part when we started this. Um, my wife went out to buy some snacks, sent me to work with them. And before you know yep. it, um, I found out it was getting easier and easier. But it doesn't mean every now and again, especially on Sundays, that I do not desire to just go pig out, to be honest with you, eat a bunch of fried chicken, um, oxtails with rice, <laughs> um, because Sunday was yeah. the time I did all that. But um, as far as I have come, as far as we have come, mm -hmm. I say, man, we've come too far to turn, turn back. back. But now yep. listen, every day is a struggle. Every day is progress. So I don't never say that I will never eat meat again. I tell everybody it's one day at a time. Ooh, babe, you know what else you did? So something that I was so proud of him about was he had to go on a conference for both work and ministry. And he was really worried about traveling and sustaining um being a vegetarian especially because it was so new but he did it you did i did it, it. san yes. diego and then with the alabama it was so hard it was so hard i was praying hard and especially when i was in Al in alabama everybody was Not saying you can't southern. leave until you try some good southern mm -hmm. fried chicken yep. my mouth was watering but at the same time i said no i can't mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if i do i feel like all that time that i went without me has gone down the drain and so i had to stay i had to stay just fresh to it so what i did was eat some grits um with some vegetables uh, which was very good, but I really wanted some shrimp and grits. But I said, please take out the shrimp. So I was really good, y'all. I'm excited. Um, I'm even surprising myself. Yeah. All right. Um, so, so it's possible. It is. It is. It, it is. is very possible. Again, you need a good support system. You need to make sure that the people around you support your journey and your decision. And you need to really be intentional about sustaining the lifestyle. So as he mentioned, um, getting snacks, making sure that you have snacks on hand ahead of time so that you aren't rushing out to the stores trying to find stuff at the last minute because when you're hungry and you're in a hurry, you will be tempted and you're more likely to fall off. 
And so you want to make sure that you're intentional. The other thing is to really think about why you're on this journey. We made up in our minds that it was really important for us to take better care of our bodies, to be more mindful of what we feed ourselves um, from a health perspective, but also we were convicted about some of the practices, I think, within the food industry and how they um, take care of the animals. And so when we saw that, that really impacted us. And so every time we think about falling off, we think about our health, we think about how we're feeling, we think about um, what's happening to some of the animals. I do, but I can't lie to you. I'm still thinking about a piece of chicken, a real hamburger. It's not steak, worth it, babe. It's something. not worth it. But in all in all, <laughs> I'm, I am willfully on this journey. Um, and so we take it one step at a time. Listen, it was glad I was it was good to be here with mm -hmm. you all. I'm going to turn it over to Lady D. Let her take back over her channel um, and let her do her thing. All right, Thanks, baby. Babe. All right. I appreciate you. <laughs> all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that small segment um, with my special guest. Again, I just want to leave you with these three tips. So one, you want to make sure that you are prepared and intentional on your journey. So make sure you buy snacks, 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 snacks. Number two, you want to have accountability. Make sure that you aren't on this journey alone. Surround yourself with people who support you, who are going to help you research new products, who are going to help you find new things that you love, and they're going to be accountability there for you if you're tempted or you may fall. Um, the other thing is to make sure you research and educate yourself. But three, be committed. You want to be committed and make sure that as you've made this decision, you're ready and willing to stick with it. Don't give up. It's not easy. Lifestyle change is not easy, but you can do it. And I promise that as I learn new things and as I continue on this journey and am enlightened, I will come back and share it with you. So I love you. I'm so glad you came back. If you found this video helpful, I need you to do a couple of things. I want you to like this video. Then I want you to comment down below and tell me what you liked about this video, what your struggles are, so we can talk about it. And third, I want you to share this video and subscribe, all right? I'll be back soon with more updates. Until then, I love you, grace, and peace.